It's Friday, and you know that means magic. time for some magic. Yes, and uh, we, we, we've been putting this off lately because just random stuff has come up. But uh, today we're going to do our Patreon series again. This was uh, again an idea submitted by uh, Joseph Joseph Pies, and it's, uh, it's basically it's a new format kind of. It's a format called Shelf, in which you take uh, the deck a deck that kind of defined a standard. And then another deck that defined a different standard, and you put them against each other. See what happens. And you see what happens. And uh, he, it is worth noting. It doesn't have to be like the deck sure, that defines sure. it. But that's I should, what we I should with. say that's that's what we went with. Yeah. Now he does actually have a ban list, like of stuff that was banned in standard, for like, uh, which there's really not that many things on it. But we decided to not go with that because we really wanted to do Jund versus Cobblade. Yeah. So that's that's what we're doing. So I'm playing Jund. Yeah, you, yeah. And I'm, I'm taking you all the way back to 2011 for uh, for for this lovely little deck here. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff happened back then. The world was a different time. You know, it really was. Obama was in office. I mean, he's still in office. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's true. But uh, yeah, so I decided uh, because yours is uh, 2010. 2010 and mine is 2011. To decide who goes first, we've got this dice that has 2011 and 2010 on it. And basically, uh, just gonna roll this and whoever wins goes first. 2011. <laughs> so, I will go first and we will see you in game one. Alright, game one. Uh, there were a couple things that I forgot to mention in the last set, so I'll just mention it right now. We're actually now officially out of Patreon decklist, and I have noticed that there are quite a few uh, patrons at the $10 or more level that have not submitted deck list to us, uh, which presumably is why you're at the 10 or more dollar level, I don't know. But uh, yeah, if you'd like to get those to us, that would be really good. We do, there's a stuff. post on Patreon that you can view if yeah. you're the $10 or more level. Mm-hmm. So you can put a deck list there, or you can just message us on Patreon. Or even on YouTube. It doesn't really matter. So uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can get some more lists for, uh, for future videos there. Um, there's another thing too. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, in case you haven't heard already, we have a store where you can get wonderful tokens such as these, and uh, a bunch of other things. So, links there, and uh, I would check it out. Yeah. I mean, if if I were if I were a consumer, I would check it out. <laughs> anyway, so without further ado, I will show my hands, which is this. Go ahead. We got. <clears throat> and. All right. So, 2011 gets to go first. So, we're going to leave with the planes and pass the turn. Draw. Lead with a Ruben Craig. There we go. Draw a card. Let's go for Glacial Fortress. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw off turn. It's weird playing with these lands without dual lands. It's been a while. Swarm. <laughs> Leech. Leech. Alright. That good? good? Yeah. Good. There we go. Draw a card. That could have been worse. Celestial Colonnade. Pass the turn. Gotta get some aid to your colon. Yep. That thing's been acting up all week. All week. Dragon Skull Summit. Got Swamp, so it comes and play untapped. Yeah, you do. Three mana. Blame me. Oh. That's a that's a pain in the butt. But uh, we're gonna go to 17. And we're gonna discard. Um Sad as this is, Tectonic Edge into the Royal. And I will swing for two. No blocks. And I will pay two life to give him plus two plus two. Go to 13. And there go. Untap. Draw a card. Well, all right. Let's go for... Hmm. Go for planes. Planes. I'll play Chase. I love mine, Skullka. That's a boy now. That is no boy now. You probably have a Bloodbraid Elf or something, but that's alright. 
We will... Let's see, what kind of value are you on? I can go up to five and look at your top card. And... I don't really fancy that, so we'll put it on the bottom. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Raging with being tapped. All right. Pack Jace for two. Yep. No blocks, obviously. He goes the three. And bolt to finish it. Job finished. And then another future pitch. You got it. Sure go. Untap. Draw a card. Not horrible. Let's go for a tectonic edge. And I think I'm going to do this now. I think that's enough pressure that I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, it's going to eat damage. Yeah. Pass the turn. Day of Judgment. Untap. Draft turn. Much worse than Wrath of God. And... Four mana. Yep. I know what this is. Bloodbird Elf. Yeah! Into One of my favorite cards. I shouldn't be saying yeah, because this thing's going to wreck me. All the lands, apparently. Nope. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah! <laughs> you can't even cast this. Yeah, there's can't literally even, no blood cards. still on the stack, so yeah, you can't target it with anything. So. <laughs> well, I think oh, I, I don't think that one gets shuffled in. Oh, does it not get? And, I mean, it doesn't really matter. No, because it gets exiled, and then you could cast it, and then you shuffle oh, yeah, you're right. all the exiled right. cards. That's what I thought. Been a while since the Lebray Elf. It's kind of sad, but days. Yeah. three. We'll take three, because there's no choice. Go to ten. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Okay. So now, I think, we're going to go for a Stoneforge Mystic. <gasps> so, <laughs> another card that was actually banned in Standard. Funny enough. In the last wave of uh, Standard bannings. Mm -hmm. And we'll go for a Batter Skull. Pretty much the reason it was banned. Yeah, being able to fetch up a 4-4 and then put it into play uncounterable, it's pretty decent for 2-drop. Mm -hmm. It does have to survive, but uh, still pretty pretty, pretty good when your equipment are some of the best cards in your deck. <laughs> yep. Turns out. So, we've got that going. Let's also add a Sword of War and Peace. Play the Titanic <gasps> Edge for land. Pass the turn. And if you're trying to get both that. Yep. Not too big of a surprise. Untap. Drop turn. Peck you for three. Go to seven. Enter go. Okay, untap. Draw a card. Also not a terrible one. Hmm. Let's see. What to do? Actually, kind of tough. I think I'm going to go for a Squadron Hawk. <gasps> Squadron Hawk. The Caw in the Caw Blade. I spit all over myself. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. So he gets to fetch up buddies. Yeah, one one with flying that when he cap or when he enters the battlefield, you can find uh, more copies of them from your library. Mm -hmm. So I get three. You're gonna get all three at once. I want to save them for when you want to chase brainstorm for for some shuffleage. Now, sword of war and peace is pretty good with cards in your hand. Yeah, I, uh, that's true, actually. That is true. Um, so let's go to my hands. Plus, I can still shuffle when I cast these and just fail to find. I guess, yeah, that is true. You don't need the so, one. So I think what I'm going to do is attempt to equip sword. You're going to find yourself terminated. You got it. No squatty. No shuffle. To you. Undead. Drop turn. 
Pack for three. Well, Bit Blast can hit players, so I will go to four. And. Oh, wait. Doing this right. Maelstrom Pulse. Yep. No life gain for you. Enter go. Unzap. Draw a card. Um, let's see. Uh, we can still do this. <laughs> life gain, just not uh, on, in sword form. It is true. And I will also attack you for one. 17. Pass the turn. Untap. Might have been turn. Yeah. Let's see. That's mountain. Yep. Enter go. All right. Untap. Draw a card. Not half bad. So, I'm going to attack you for five. Take five. And then we'll gain four, coming up to eight. Twelve. Then I will play Gideon Jura. Everyone attacks him. Who will, yes, indeed, make everybody attack him. Now play an island as my land for a turn, and here's a squadron hawk. Pass the turn. Again, Drop I'm turn. not going to look, because I don't need a shovel. Uh, that's not very good. Three mana. Lightning. Squatting down. And. Three damage to point somewhere? And point it at you. Go to five. Fortunately, Bloodbird does have to attack. So. I will block that. <laughs> go to nine. Enter go. Alright. Untap. Draw a card. That seems pretty decent. Hmm. Let's see here. 12? Yes. So, what could you have? I'm guessing probably not that much. So we'll activate Colonnade. Activate Gideon. And then I will attack with everybody. Front tag ups. Yeah. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> so just, just, Go just, negative four. just for the math here, that's 10, 11, 12, 16. All right. That's done for us. Pretty good. Pretty good follow up. Yeah. Kind of petered out at the end there. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Kind of started running out of stuff. But, uh, yeah, so that was kind of an example of why this deck is absolutely busted. Well, was busted. <laughs> and the fact that they had to, had to ban it. Ban and standard. Yeah, yeah. So, we will see you in game two. All right, game two. Can't wait till we adjust this and do it. Yeah. All right, game two. And and so we've got those, those, and those. All right, let's do this thing. He announced those very heavily, so I'm worried. <laughs> Plans. Go. Draw a card. Sea Chrome Ghost. That's the turn. Go for. Forced. Future Bleach. You got it. Go. Draw a card. Sea Chrome Ghost. <laughs> and we'll play a Squadron Hawk, which will fetch just one buddy, because I don't want to discard. I want to discard a Squadron Hawk. No. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw turn. Draw 
Burn catacombs, crack, go 19. Find ourselves a basic swamp. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. And since we tapped out at the moment, we're going to follow it up with a blightning. All right. <laughs> now, how important was this squadron hawk to me? That's a question. That's a question. I think I'm going to get rid of Into the Royal and Day of Judgment, because I don't want to be bouncing Blood Bright Elves. I mean, yeah, you a do. whole lot, and I don't really want to be wrathing spreading for next. I mean, we're pretty good to bounce this. True. Two. No blocks. Four. Sixty. Enter go. Draw card. Jace does the same thing, so <laughs> let's just do that. Uh, but but One. Sixteen. And then. Let's go for Preordain. Scry 2. Intriguing. Mm -hmm. There's pros and cons to both. Bottom. Or top, top, I don't draw. And then we'll land for the turn. Celestial Colonnade. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Play a Raging Corbine tap. Yep. Two. Two. No blocks. Obviously. Four. Yeah, no blocks. Um, I will take four, but I will dismember that as well. Go to 12. It's dead. And... Trinix. Yep. Your go. Unzap. Draw a card. A little late to the party there, pal. Um... Let's see. Linux. Let's go for a tectonic edge. I don't know why. And it probably kills my raging with being. It does do that. That is an option. Hmm. And I will cast a squadron hawk. <gasps> and fine. fetch up two buddies. Two buddies. Because I have the space all the in my hand now. That is all the buddies. And I'll get in for one, sure. Why not? Thirteen. Pass the turn. Untap. Drop turn. Hmm. We're gonna go for three mana. Lightning. Let's leak that. It's with mana. Yep. So, Dragon Spell Summit comes yep. in untapped. Sure does. Three. Hmm. I will. What will I do? If I want to chump this or not, kind of don't. But you've got tons of three damage effects. And I will chump it. Okay. Here we go. Untap. Draw a card. Intriguing. Let's go for. It's a phone ringing somewhere. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's pretty loud. Let's go. Hmm. 
so many choices. Well, surprisingly not. Uh, <laughs> just just debating. Yes, you want to cast Day of Judgment. That would not be very good in this position. Let's play Tectonic Edge. Uh, and we'll yeah. play... A squadron. No searches, obviously, because no I have all four. Great least. Pass the turn. You don't want to shuffle your library for levels? Not really a purpose. <laughs> Drop turn. But that is that does come in very handy with squadron hives. With like Jace and whatnot. Three. Three. I think. At this point, I will take three. Go to nine. Seven lines tapped. Yep. Enter go. Okay. Let's. Do I care about blowing that up? You're not really using it at the moment. I pretty much always have to leave up mana for it. Yeah, I'm not going to blow it up. Untap. Draw a card. Okay. That can work out. Let's... Hmm. Tech for one. Twelve. Pretty sad little attack. Play an island. Pass the turn. End of your turn. Five mana. I'm gonna burst lightning you kick. Burst lightning me kicked? Yeah, four damage. Okay, we'll go to five. Ouchies. That is kinda scary. Drop turn. Hmm, got nothing better going on, so we'll put mana into it. We'll put mana into it. Sure. Swing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> no real reason to do that first. Um, hmm. You will activate Colonnade. I will block here and then block here. So, says. Yeah. Making a parade of foosties. Three saps. <laughs> Three Another little saps. Ravine. You got it. Enter go. Untap. Draw a card. Let's... Let's tag for one. Eleven. Then... Let's blow up the world. <gasps> the Day of Judgments. And we'll play another Celestial Colonnade. How's the turn? Tech Edge my land. Try and use that turn for this. So, thank you. That's all I ever asked for. No! No! Blood Red Elf into. Come on, miss! 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 Mills from Pulse! <laughs> You're, the suspense is killing me here! And literally the card might be also. <laughs> hey, just keep going. Yeah! Woo! Uh, <laughs> that is a whiff. It's good, sir. That is a whiff. <laughs> After all of that. Oh. I mean, I'm still in bad shape, but oh. <laughs> Three. Two. Enter go. 
Let's blow up the one at the counter. Mean. Unsap. Draw a card. That was not bad. Not bad. Okay. Um, is there a nice way to do this? Nah. It's the unfortunate stick. Let's go fetching. Or a batter skull. Batter skull. He's here to batter your skull. Now the terminate would be pretty good. <laughs> Today. Because we are going to play planes as our land for the turn and cast batter skull. <laughs> Pass the turn. And we turn and terminate it. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> Untap. Draft turn is a land. Yep. Activate Raging Review. Yep. Swing. I figured you probably wouldn't have the second one, but you did. <laughs> I did. Yep. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to take that damage because I can't live anyway. I had a Squadron Hawk. That was exciting. Yeah, squadron Hawk. All right. So. Victory. You, you managed to squeak one out there with the uh, whole awesome cascade. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you know, probably, arguably, I'd say, my favorite mechanic of all time because it's so much fun. It is. Even though you've had pretty poor luck with it. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't show off uh, yeah, Blood yeah. Braid into Blightning. Or like, like yeah, Bit Blast into blood, blood Braid into like Blightning or into uh, like Maelstrom Pulse. Kill all your Squadron Hawks. Attack with Blood Braid. Kill Jace. <laughs> yeah, it can't be backbreaking is what we're trying yeah, to man. get out here. So, we will see you in Game 3. All right, game three. Show my hands. That's the stuff. Show my hand. All right. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> play Celestial Colonnade, pass the turn. Draw. Like you need play. that card onto the table. Seven signs. You got it. <laughs> Mine's worth more than yours. Draw a card. <laughs> Not bad. Mine taps for more colors than yours. That's true. Let's go for an island. And a squatty. <gasps> squatting house. And he'll find two of his squatting friends. Two bring two to the crack house. Crack house? It's a crack house. It's not a birthday party. Well, they're squatters. Are they like a squad? You can have you can have crack at a birthday party. I mean, yeah, I guess that's true. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. Having, well, well have a birthday party at a crack house, you mean? You do that, too. Yeah. It's a good venue. Uh, that's the right number, right? Yep. Because I don't want to discard. Pass the turn. Untap. Draft turn. Mm. Go. Untap. Draw a card. Okay. Let us go for an attack for one to Ow. kick things off. That injured me slightly. And then I think we'll cast Preordain. So we're going to scry two. He's gonna be... Bottom top. Draw a card. Then we're going to Play a glacial fortress that comes in untapped. Pass the turn. You have an island. End of your turn. I am first landing that. Hmm. Sure. It's dead. <laughs> untapped. Draft turn. You can have my one one. Um, uh, me. Think. Wow, they're all at the top here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <That's kinda> weird. <laughs> Someone needs to shuffle better. I don't believe that deck is random. <laughs> uh, what do we got coming our way? Some lightning. Feels like a lightning to me. Could be a Thrinix. Could be a lightning. Uh, let's spell Pierce. Gone. No, oh, thank you. Sure go. No, thank you. 
Untap. Draw card. And here's the part where we start having some fun. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Ding, ding, James. Ding. Now, it's kind of funny. Like, when this was the standard deck, you know, you play a Jace, and basically they had to, like, play their Jace to kill your Jace. But that doesn't even work <laughs> Which doesn't anymore. even work anymore. But, like, in this matchup, it's really interesting because, like, one Bloodbraid Elf later, and uh, they don't the go to Jace if you go for the Brainstorm. So I'm going to actually go up to five and look at your top card, which is not castable. So we'll leave it there. Sweet. Pass the turn. Is it a Bloodbraid Elf? No. Horse. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I mean, this looks like a blood bird elf. That's true. That one is. Putrinix. That's pretty good. And three of the Jace. Jace will go to two. See what I mean? Enter <laughs> go. Unzap. Draw a card. I mean, this card basically on its own kept Jace from even, like, being in the format. Yeah. And then and as then soon as it rotated, rotated, some other stuff happened. <laughs> no, we don't, we don't like to talk about that something? stuff, though. Then Goblin Guy can just kill it. Yeah, yeah. And then, other than that, Bloodbird Elf, three mm. haste. So I think what I'm going to do... And Lightning Bolt, I guess. Mm. I think what I'm going to do... I will... Hmm, put Jace up to four. We'll have a look at that. What are the odds that this matters? Let's put it on the bottom. <laughs> Apparently a lot. We'll see. Play a Plains, and here's a Gideon Jura. Gideon! And as soon as I find another dice here. A super friend who protects Those his friends. And take all the beats. Now I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draft turn. That was another really fun deck. That, like a vamp kind of super frenzy. Burn Cattle Smith. Crack that. Find out. It was a mountain. It was a mountain. I was kind of banking on you not having another land. Ah. You probably did. Oh, I had a burn cat come, so... Yes. We're gonna find... Swamp. Yep. So that Bit Blast is now... Okay. (laughs) That Bit Blast is, in fact, active. Doesn't hit anything at the moment. Except my own things. True. That's pretty good against this colonnade that I've got. It's true. Being that it's instant speed. Eh? There goes a bunch of cards onto the floor. All over. Hmm. I don't know why I ever try and do that. I always screw it up. <laughs> Mash shuffle all day. And you're not going to like this, but actually, let's do this right. Yeah. Maelstrom Pulse. Oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. That works too. Dead. Yeah. You're right, I didn't like that. Enter go. Okay. Untap. Draw card. Hmm. Nexus. Squatty. Find the last pal. He's a little late to the party, but he brought ice cream, so that's all he really needs. Just gotta sprinkle a little crack cocaine on top of it. Yeah. Can't go wrong with crack cocaine, like I always say. <laughs> <laughs> drugs are bad. It's true. He probably shouldn't do drugs. Yeah, Mr. Boopster wouldn't, uh, he, no, he wouldn't. You. He, he definitely doesn't do drugs by the looks of it on his face right there. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. What to do? Play another one. And. I will not shuffle with that. Pass the turn. Untap. Draft turn. Swamp. Yep. 
Is it raging ravine time? No, it is not. But uh, of course, you got another blood raid. <laughs> Why not? Future D. Okay, future D. Leech. <laughs> okay, that's significantly annoying. Yeah, I kept the two blood bread elf and no early game starting hand. <laughs> you got yeah, you got the blight. I mean, I drew the I drew the early the, game. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't have good. it initially. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's like it's good. It's good. All good. That doesn't swing. Now it does not swing. Nine. Nine. Okay. You can trade for one. That's true. I do have that capacity. Hmm. It's kind of tough. Kind of tough. Uh, I don't like doing this, but I think... I think it probably gives me my best shot, unfortunately. So let's dismember Ooh. the Threnix. The four life, going to 16. And I think I will trade two of these for Blood Red Elf. Because there's a lot of damage. And take three. And I'll take three. Go to 13. Here we go. Basically trying to draw to my outs here. That's not terrible. But it's a day of judgment. Let's go for. Chase the Mind Sculptor. <gasps> He can bounce a token and I can never replay it. That's true, but I think instead of doing that, <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think he's gonna brainstorm. Gotta find that day. Gotta find that day. It's a beautiful day. In the neighborhood. It's really not. It's a horrible day in there, but. Let's put back. But I mean, we got rid of the squad of hawks that was trying to pawn off drugs. So Let's put back that going for us. And we'll play a squaddy. And oh, wait, there's one more, right? Yeah. <laughs> Almost the whole squad. Well, um, we got rid of most of it. Question is, do I want to search? How much do I like those cards? I kind of like them. So we're not going to search. Not going to search. Yeah. Pass the turn. Untap. Drop turn. How dead are we? Let's find out. Tapped out, Tan. Tapped out. Hmm. Nah, that's probably the correct choice. Lightning. Three damage. Redirect to Jace. You discard two cards. That might have been the best top deck you could have ever had in your entire life. <laughs> Because I found the day. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yes. Yep. And that is why Blood Bright Elf kept Jace at bay for an entire standard Swing. period. Swing. <sighs> oh. That's not good. Maximum of 10 damage here. Man. You're 17. So I'm not even close to killing you. With flying. Um, I don't know what a good blocker is, because I'm dead in another swing anyway, I think. Pretty sure. So I think I'll trade with a token, because I don't like looking at them. I will pump future to leave. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that puts me at four. Enter, go. And unfortunately, I know what I'm drawing, and it's not going to be sufficient. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. I think I passed the turn. Sad as that is. Untap. Drop turn. Mm, that's not very exciting. Savage lands. It's pretty savage. 
Swain. All right, you're going to let me live another turn. That's exciting. Activate, activate. In response to... So you have another removal spell? You know what it is. <laughs> so you're ready. Fitness Blast, the first one that finishes is activating. Or I guess... Sure. Whatever. One, one of them dies. It really doesn't make a difference. Into and the lightning bolt. That was a good face. I'm going to respond to that by dismembering that for four life and killing myself because I don't want to give you the satisfaction. In response to that. Oh, yeah, I can't because that's part of the cost. I can't pay life. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that, was, that was pretty good. I think you had some really good top decks in that game. This My blade. god. This blade. Not just that, I mean, you just... <laughs> You you were able to deal with every single thing that I threw at you, so which is which is true. I mean that is essentially what the Jun deck is all about. I mean you could have nothing in play, and then suddenly you have three things in play, and your yep. opponent has nothing in play. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's pretty much why Blood Ray Elf kept Jace at bay for the entire first part of 2010 until yes. uh, until it rotated. Until it rotated, yeah. and then Stoneforge Mystic got all our best friends. It's true. Yeah. And required being one hand. One blade at a time. All right, so that was another uh, pretty exciting, actually. This it was. was. This was pretty good. Those were really good games. Um, so that was the shelf format once again. That came from Patreon. Which, uh, if you are not a patron of ours, maybe have a, have a look, see see what we got on there. And if you are a patron of us of ours, please send us a deck list because this is the last essentially idea that we yes. got submitted to us. So uh, please, please do that. Check out our store, yada yada yada, Mr. Boopster, and we will see you next week with some more magic-related items. Mm -hmm.